Hello, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Our video today, we're going to show you all the steps that are necessary to change the screen on a Dell Precision M4800 laptop. All the tools you're going to need for this is a Phillips screwdriver, and it helps to have a regular screwdriver in case you need to do a little prying. So the first process here is we've got an uh, assembly here that's got a bad screen, so we're going to remove the screen. In order to get at the screen, you have to remove the retainer bezel that holds the screen on. It's just uh, snapped into place, so the process of removing it is to work your way around and it will unsnap. No screws, just unsnaps. So now you're going to undo the screws that hold the screen in place, following around the perimeter of the screen. There's several screws involved. And again, the process here is to get the old screen out. Now the screen has got a retaining bracket on it, which you're going to see as soon as you pull the screen out. And the screen that you're going to use as a replacement, um, if you purchased one or took one out of another laptop, it may or may not have the bracket, so you can use the previous bracket. So once you've got the screen on, uh, all the screws out, then you've got to remove the connector it's on the back of the screen. You can see there it peels off. Be careful, they're kind of delicate connectors. That's all it electronically is hooked to it. Okay, now you'll see there's this metal bracket that holds the uh, screen it, uh, on. So if you don't have a bracket on your new screen that you're doing the replacement with, just simply take the bracket off of this old one and put it on the screen that you purchased. So there's a few screws around the outside. It's actually, this particular design, there's it's a two-piece bracket. One piece on either end of the display. So you want to get that off and now you can discard your old display. And in this case we've got a new one we're going to replace it with. The first part of the process is to assemble those brackets you just took off the old display. In our case we've got two brackets with a couple of screws each. Once you've assembled those screws, now you're going to be ready, assuming you don't break something with your screwdriver that you drop, you're going to be ready to put the new display in place. Now the first part thing you got to do is reconnect the electrical harness that you took off the old one. As a connector you can see there that just snaps in. And then you maneuver the display up into its position, lining up the holes on the mount screws. And reassemble your new display onto the laptop with the screws that you took out of the previous assembly. In this case there's one in each corner.
Okay, now you've got the assembly mechanically back into position. And you've got to put that bezel back on that we unsnapped previously. Kind of, it's got a locator on the bottom. You usually start it on the bottom, kind of angle it in, and once it's in place, it'll snap and you know you've got it. And then you can hear the, all the fasteners snapping right into place. That's all the assembly is. And that's the end of the process. So that's all we got. That You've just replaced a bad screen with a good one, and you're good to go. You heard it here on the laptop barn. If you have any comments, make, make your comments below. Subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thanks for listening.